Hello everybody, it's Amy from Women's Animals and today I'm going to be doing a shed tour. And I haven't done a shed tour for about a year. The last time I did one was when I actually first put the guinea pigs in here, which was the 13th of February. Let's just get started. So here is just the outside. We've got double doors, three windows, one there behind that, one there and there. This little balcony is really quite sweet looking. I have this little welcome doormat. Some dead plants and leaves just because I had some plants out here when they were all growing. But now it's been the winter, they've kind of died a bit so I'm just waiting for I can start filling them back up with new plants. At this side is where I keep the spare door. This is just a bit of wood with like mesh here so that when it's sunny I can open the top door up and put this here so no predators can get in but it still gives some ventilation and air. Here is the door, it has a latch up here, a stable door so I can open up the top like this and then just have the top open. Now down there I just have a bungee cord which is what I hold this door on. I've got this door shut and I have it there, I just hold that round so it doesn't fall over. And as you enter we have this lino tiling and these bits of wood around here which basically just stops all the bedding coming under here and getting all of my shoes when I walk in. A tunnel on here because the guinea pigs have started coming down here and they just love tunnels before it so I put it down here because they always run down here anyway. Then I have a stool for me to sit and watch them or film or edit and things. Then a bin in case I have any food with me in here I can put it in the bin or any like treat wrappers. On the windows I just have these curtains. These are good for in the summer. In the summer if it's getting a bit hot I can actually put shade in here for them and my mum made these curtains when we had this playhouse when we were young. Then just hanging on the window I have these Manor Pet Housing flags which I got from the pet show. I really like these and I love this brand. It just has these rabbit and guinea pig on the back and then just their brand there and I just thought they'd be quite cute just to hang up there. Have the side door open so you get more light and the guinea pigs can air. But just a bit of an overview of what it looks like. Firstly down here under this window as you come in I have this little nest box. I can lift the lid open so I can get them out. That just has straw in it. It's basically I call this a nest box where they can bury and when they're cold at night they can go in there. As you come round from there I just have their little bridge which I made and it has two logs and a bendy bridge on top of it. That and this is where I put their breakfast in the morning. I sprinkle it on top and they jump on and walk across and can go hide underneath as well. Then following on from there they have their hay bar. So this is one of the first things I bought for the shed. It's just like a cat basket and I put two layers of newspaper in it and fill it with their hay. This is their, where their main source of hay is. I fill it up every morning and most nights. A waffle just digging in. Coming around from there I just have their water bottle. I got this for Christmas and underneath I have this little plastic dish which catches the water so it doesn't make the bedding all wet. It's just got a really cute rabbit and guinea pig on it and it's really nice glass and I just slip that in here. A lot of you have asked me how I attach my water bottle but I just have a little bit of wood then two circle hooks which I've hooked a bit of wire through which holds it in and then I've also hooked the little stand which this water bottle came with through it as well so that just holds it up but I'll do a more detailed video on that. Then coming around there on this little ledge which I've put in I have their food bowl and it says eat, sleep, <laughs> poo, repeat uh, and it's really cute little painted guinea pigs on it. This is from Everything Guinea Pig and I did a review on this brand because I really really like it. Uh, guinea pig that just lives here. I just have these two tunnels, a cardboard just like box that's upside down and an actual cardboard tube. My guinea pigs love tunnels and things like this so I usually attach them together. I usually have a few different toys to change it up every couple of weeks. This bedding I use is called Orbios. It is a horse bedding and I'm going to be doing a review on it. It is really good when the guinea pigs wee on it. It brings the wet down to the bottom and so it doesn't have a wet on top which is good for guinea pigs so they don't get sores on their feet and then you just have to dig below and get the wet out. That's a really good thing about Orbeos and it shouldn't really be kept outside because that ruins the purpose of it but you can if you're not going to use it for the good purpose that it moves all the wetness from there where they've weed and stuff down to the bottom so they don't have to walk on it and I think that's a really good feature especially for guinea pig bedding. Recently we just separated this part off with another bit of wood because we were using too much Orbeos really getting really hard to clean and so I've just moved it so they just have lots of straw in here and that's literally all they have because they bury through it and nibble it and forage in it and things and it's just really nice and cosy for them and then they have their cute little castle, I call this the Biggie Castle which has a ramp going up and I just keep hay on top then as you've noticed I have stairs which goes up to a second floor where I just store things just have lots of boxes, this is for storage for our house then coming round I have a bucket there which just has cleaning supplies in it. It has the dustpans and newspaper in it and then I can like spot clean stuff into this bucket. But 
I then have this little basket which has fleece items, it has a fleece blanket, a snuggle sack and like a little circle pad which I can hold them on for doing health checks. Then coming forward from all that I have the little sieve which I spot clean them with and I can just put handfuls of bedding like of the Orbeos in here and shake it out and it gets out all the straw and poo but sift through all the Orbeos. I find it's really useful and really quick for cleaning out. Then coming up here I have these spare hay baskets and things. I have a small one, a cardboard crate and a wooden crate. And you'll see me use these on different occasions. I just change things up in here quite a lot. And I have this little toy which basically is just a bit of wood with holes in and you bury this bit and I just put a little food in here. And then next I just have this cage. It's good when I need to bring them inside and having an extra little run or separating things off. Like if I ever got more guinea pigs I could use it to separate off here or here or something like that. Next I have the baskets of things. I find these baskets really useful. I have this one which has just treats and this and all the treats. I've got a few more other places. Then this one up here has the toys in it. I don't have very many toys. And here I have like health stuff so bits of medicine, the disinfectant, brushes and stuff. Then right at the back I just have paperwork from when I went to the pet show. You've also seen these hanging. I have these fairy lights that have a little switch here. I'll just turn that on. There and there. These are really, you can't really see them in the daytime, but these are really nice at night time. And everything that is in the guinea pig's shed, I really, really love it. And my guinea pigs are so lucky to have a place like this. And you will have seen them. There's Panda there. And I'm not sure where Waffle, oh, where's Waffle? I'm not sure where Waffle is, but you would have been in this video. I really, really like it. And I think it's really good to give guinea pigs lots of space like this and they have a really fun enclosure. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. So this concludes our shed tour. I'm now going to get questions of where the shed is from. I'm not very sure. So just our playhouse we've had from Romy Little. I can ask my mum and if I find out, I'll put it in my description box below. And I'm not sure the size of it. I'll try to find that out as well, but if not, don't worry about it, I'll put it in a different video. And if you come around the side, this is the side door I have, and when it's warm or I want to let a breeze through, I just open the door and put on a little, a little cover on here like that so they can't get out. I usually put another one on top so things can't get in as well. But this door is always shut apart from days when I can come put around, like when I have days of school. And Here's what the door looks like from the side. I just cover it with a bin bag. Lean that across the bottom because this door leaks when it rains and so it ruins all the bedding so I just have to put the bin bag across so it doesn't let any water in. But that's it for the shed tour. I hope you have enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up and comment below if you have any video ideas you'd like me to do and what your thoughts are on my shed. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!